What's up, beautiful people? Hello, hey, hi, it's me, Mr. 300 OG. And I want to welcome you back to the channel and also part two of this coolant leak issue. If you haven't seen part one, you could either watch it after this or you could check the card that'll be up top for that video link. But in the previous video, I saw that I had a coolant leak. And I wasn't too worried about it because this is something that had happened before, so luckily, I knew how to deal with the situation. In my last video, I took a ride to New York Honda Yamaha, which is where I bought my bike from. And when I bought my bike, I bought, a, I think it was like two year warranty or something like that, or a year and a half, something. So I figured, hey, instead of me paying for this out of pocket, let me go to them and have them take care of this issue. But once I got there and I started asking them, like, how could I take care of the situation, their warranty setup was just kind of like really eh, to me. They were telling me that I have to first leave the bike there or bring it back on a certain day. Then they'll have to check it and then they'll have to repair it. And then they'll have to submit it to the people for the warranty claim. And to me, that just didn't make any sense. It didn't, I mean, it makes sense, but it just didn't sit right with me. Like if I bought warranty and I have paid for it already and you guys should just be able to check the situation, fix it, or first just submit it to them to see if it's under warranty and then have me pay for it. I didn't like the fact that I had to pay for it first and then they submitted to see if it's going to get fixed. That, granted, that's their system, but that just really seemed like out of line to me. Upon looking at it now, I could have left my bike there because I haven't been riding it due to the coolant leak and I didn't want it to overheat. I could have left my bike there, but I just don't like not having my bike with me if I don't have to. Like if it's not being worked on, I feel like there should be no reason that I shouldn't have my bike right outside where I could check up on it. So in this video, I'm headed over to psychotherapy, which is where I got my first coolant leak issue resolved. And that's where that video comes from. New York Honda Yamaha was closed during the pandemic and luckily psychotherapy was open. So they helped me out. They explained to me the situation and they took care of my bike. And so in this video, we are taking a ride from Long Island City to East Harlem to go and check out my people at psychotherapy and to see what can be done. Enjoy the video, enjoy the ride, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what's up. And I'll put the link down again so you guys know what the deal is with this coolant leak. And hopefully, like I said in the first video, hopefully you guys never had to deal with this. Some people said they've had this issue before and, you know, they've also said it's easy to fix. But it's just something that could be a bit inconvenient because without the coolant leak and if you ride any heat, your bike could blow up. So let's just all ride safe. Let's just all stay safe and enjoy. Much love. Talk to y'all soon.
It's the motor vlogs in here. Ooh. Oof. 